Unresolved Problems segment tonight, a new CBS News poll asked Americans about the anti-illegal alien law in Arizona, where local and state cops can take folks into custody if they don't have proper identification. 51% say the law is just about right in dealing with the illegal immigration problem. 9% says it does not go far enough. And just 36% believe the law goes too far. Nevertheless, some on the left continue to hammer Arizona, sometimes using charges of racism to make their points. Joining us from Washington, Peter Beinart, senior political writer for the website The Daily Beast and author of the book The Arcaris Syndrome, which comes out in a few weeks. All right. Now, is it all about racism in Arizona? Is, is that what this is all about to you? No, I don't think that's all that it's about, but I do think the law is racist because I think the law is going to lead to racial profiling of, of legal and illegal immigrants, just a lot of people who don't look white. But if you have a law that expressly says the police can't engage unless there's another activity that gets them uh, involved with the person that they then ask for ID for them, if you have that, and, you know, you can easily sue the police if there are any abuses. I think that the law is pretty restrictive on what the police can and can't do. Am I wrong? Well, actually, even some of the police in Arizona have said it puts them in an impossible position because they've said, some of the police chiefs in Arizona have said they can't actually, they can't enforce this without racial profiling. There's no way to figure out who you have probable suspicion of being an illegal immigrant or not without using race. So they're going to get it either coming or going. They're well, going to get, you know, they're either going to be. There are some police chiefs, we had one of them on last night, that don't mm -hmm. like the law, but I think that's baloney. If I'm a police chief, I tell my guys, listen. If you have a police stop, traffic stop, if you're investigating a crime, domestic disturbance, whatever, you want to ask for ID, find out who you're dealing with, that's legal. Um, the disturbance has been called in or you have seen it with your own eyes, that's legal to, to get involved, so police do. And then if you suspect that the ID is phony or there's no ID, then you can continue the investigation into whether the person is or is not an American citizen because you have a law that says you have to carry an ID if you're not an American citizen. You have to. It's a federal law. So I don't understand the yeah, beef on the left. I don't get the beef. They're trying, Arizona because, is trying to regulate this problem, which has devastated the state. And you guys are basically saying, we don't want that, but we don't have a solution either. No, I don't think that's true. I think there is a solution. The solution is to increase the rates of legal citizenship, to, um, to allow a path to citizenship for the people who are here, and fine, to tighten the border, but only to do it in conjunction with other things. Otherwise, I think you don't have a prayer of solving the problem. And in fact, you're going to hurt, as the Catholic Church has said, you're going to really, really harm. You know, most illegal immigrants live in families with legal immigrants. So when you start harassing these people, both legal and illegal, and sending a lot of them back, you're going to break a lot of families. Well, that's interesting that you say harassing these people. Um, you don't think that the authorities in the United States have a right to ask someone here illegally to leave? You think that's harassment? I don't think... I think that we should, if people have been here and are willing to pay their back taxes and learn English, I think we should give them a path to citizenship. Well, I have if, no if problem with law, being tough on the border. I, I, but, I'm not opposed sorry? to that law. And we have Charles Krauthammer coming up behind you. I'm going to ask mm -hmm. him that. I'm not opposed to that, but we don't have that law now. Okay, and that's not, that's not the law of the land. It's not there. But why don't we? Well, we don't because the Congress has not passed it and President Obama has not l taken the lead to try to get it done. And the Bush administration but tried and failed. They voted against but it. But it's because Republicans don't want that comprehensive reform. Some they don't, only some want to do. do this part. Some think it's rewarding that's true, but that's, bad behavior. Even John McCain has backed away from, from doing something comprehensive. Some, think, some people think it's rewarding bad behavior. That you, people break the law, they come in here, they sneak in here, and then you give them citizenship. That's rewarding bad behavior, isn't it not? You know, most of our ancestors came in without passports. They didn't even ask for passports uh, that's not at Ellis exactly Island true. until 1918. It just depends when the ancestors came. Uh, some, they Before didn't have 1918, most the of the vast, time. The vast majority of, 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 of Irish, Italian, Poles, Jews came before 1918. And before 1918 at Ellis Island, they didn't even ask for a passport. Well, because they didn't have to ask for passports. There was no immigration control back then. But now there is. Well, See, that's, look, exactly, look, look, exactly, look. that's exactly the Here, point. Here's the right? problem. Here's the problem. The, the left is trying to make this a racist issue that there is, and, and you wrote on the Daily Beast something to this sort, that there is a, a drive to punish, to punish Hispanics because they don't like the fact they're Hispanic. I don't see that. In a, in a few cases, yeah, but I don't see that to motivate the Arizona authorities. The Arizona authorities say we're desperate. We don't have the money. Our crime problem is through the roof. Phoenix is one of the most dangerous cities in the country. We got to do something. It's not based on racism. Bill, the, it's based on self-protection. Illegal immigrants, illegal immigrants are no more likely to commit non-immigration related true. crimes in than Phoenix, illegal citizens. It's there's a, a lot of, capital I think there's a lot of, of media fuel hysteria here. Phoenix is the kidnapping capital of the United States, and well, most you know, of the El Paso kidnapping was, is done El, by Mexican nationals. So El, that's El, not true. Well, I, 
El, El Paso happens to be one of the safest cities in America. I think these are, a lot of this is fueled by media hysteria. In fact, illegal immigrants are not more likely to commit crimes. They pay more in taxes than they take out. I think a lot of this is a kind of hysteria that's not based on reality. All right. Mr. Biner, we appreciate your point of view. Thank you. And in just a few moments, as I said, Charles Cranmer will solve, will solve the immigration chaos for us. Thank you, Charles. There is plenty more ahead of the fact of moves along this evening as President Obama.